Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things luxury skincare and beauty related. And in today's video, I am going to be reviewing and doing a demo or demonstration on the La Prairie Switzerland Foam Cleanser right here. You guys, I did get this as a luxury deluxe sample or something. I don't know, it's pretty large though. And I've been using it, I get 1.7 fluid ounces. I've been using it every single day since I got it. And let me tell you something, I've been loving it. So if you want to see how this applies and works and get my final thoughts on this product, then keep on watching. First of all, I wanna say my face has not been washed today. My face is not clean, I haven't touched it today, so, but I've been cleansing with this every night and I've been using my Duval Spin Cleanser System. I'm going to, I think I have a 70% off code that you guys can use to buy this. I think you could buy this whole entire uh, cleansing system for like 25 bucks or less. And guess what? It's worth it. And I've been using it every night, honest to God. I'll put the uh, code below and I'll also link it down below in my description box as well as the link to this if you want to buy it. But let's get talking about La Prairie in general. You guys know I am a La Mer addict. That is my brand through and through. However, I've been dabbling in the La Prairie market because I hear fantastic things. It is a Swiss beauty brand that I think has been around since the 30s, the 1930s by a, is it a German doctor or his son? I just looked everything up online. First of all, their website is insane. Insane. I watched this, like the chapters of like La Prairie from like the 1930s to like 2018. And let me tell you something, this brand has all kinds of stuff going on. They have caviar, they use platinum, which is one of the rarest and most sought after metals in the world, gold, and uh, caviar is a big one, ice crystal collection. I mean, this brand is luxe and Swiss and expensive. Now, you do not purchase La Prairie at like a Sephora or anything like that. It's like an individual brand. I don't believe Estee Lauder or anybody owns this brand. I believe it's individual, correct me if I'm wrong. But this is definitely up there in the Lux department with Clay Depot and the rest of them. One of the things that stood out for me, because I've been, I've been trying a lot of La Prairie's products, and if you guys can see, I also have that night, um, that night moisturizer that I've been using by La Prairie that I'll have, I'll do another video on soon. But one of the standout products of La Prairie for me so far has been this cleanser. I like wasn't expecting it because I've been using the La Mer Foaming Cleanser, which you guys already know I love. And I was like, well, how does it get better than the La Mer Cl Foaming Cleanser? Foaming cleansers people get intimidated by because they don't want their skin to dry out. A lot of sensitive dry skin type people veer away from foaming cleansers. And I understand, I understand why. There's lotion cleansers, there's gel cleansers, there's a lot of other cleansers on the market. However, a lot of foam cleansers are being made to be hydrating also to kind of combat that um, stigma about them. Clay Depo makes a foaming cleanser that I think is very moisturizing, almost too moisturizing for a foam cleanser. I like my foam cleansers to be a little more like vigorous or to really get in there and clean. Like I buy a foam cleanser to be aggressive clean. Does that make sense? Like I want my foam cleansers to aggressively clean my skin without stripping everything totally, but not being so gentle that it's like nothing gets done. So this I believe gave me like the perfect combination of pampered, and you guys know, like we're Lux skincare lovers. You guys know what it feels like to have pampered cleansers, right? Then it made, did not totally strip my skin, but it didn't like moisturize it to the point where I felt like it didn't even clean my skin. Like it is the perfect balance. I'm gonna read you a little bit about this product. I just wanted to kind of give you guys like a first impression of like what I've been experiencing with this product. So also I just wanna let you guys know La Prairie is very, very expensive more expensive than La Mer in a lot of cases. However, this case, this for 4.2 ounces, you can get for $90. I believe the La Mer one is 95, but you get a little more, it doesn't matter. This isn't a La Mer video, Morgan, stop it! You know what, just to put the La Mer stuff to rest, I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna compare and contrast. I'll do one side of my face La Mer, other side of my face La Prairie. Don't let me forget to do that for you guys because I know we're gonna want that because we live and breathe Lux skincare and we need to know how each of them works individually so we can go splurge on ourselves, duh. All right, so $90, right? It's a foam cleanser, the benefits of it, 
per the website, which is insane by the way, dissolves makeup and impurities without stripping moisture. Pretty basic explanation. Calms and soothes, leaving skin refreshed. I agree. When you first smell La Prairie products, they're very fragrant. They smell like perfume and you're like, oh God, I don't want this on my skin. Like it's too fragrant. It doesn't, it's very perfume-like. And it, I know a lot of people get turned off by that with La Prairie, just to, from talking to people and salesmen and everything like that. A lot of people say that about La Prairie. However, that wasn't the case when I used it. My skin was not irritated, so my skin is all wet. I did wet my Duval cleanser, I, or my cleansing system. I'm gonna use half my face with this, half the, my other side of my face with my hands, so I can show you guys the difference. So we're gonna open this up. Nice packaging, plastic. Um, I mean, it's okay, it's pretty basic packaging, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna put some of this on the back of my hands. You don't need a lot, which I also love. You don't need a lot of this. And if you can make it out of the camera, the product, is pink, which I thought was super cute. And then when you um, put it in water, it kind of disperses and makes like this beautiful creamy consistency. So I'm gonna use my hands on the right side of my face and we're gonna just start working it into our skin. And as you can see, the more I work this into my skin and lather it, the more like of that foam base starts happening. And let me tell you this, when you first put it on your hands or your device, it's almost like there's like a bunch of little like capsules in this cleanser that are waiting to burst to give you like this beautiful foaming experience. That's what I noticed from just putting it on my hands. And here it is on my hands when they're wet. Your skin does need to be wet before using. Um, it does apply very smooth, even though you do get a bunch of those like grainy capsule almost like they're very tiny micro like little beads almost and they like disperse into this beautiful foam. So here it is up close if you want to just like take a look at how it works. It smells very nice, um, very perfume based. So if you're not a fragrance person, just be mindful, but I still recommend you try it because I still think it's really good. I'm going to go wet this side a little more and I'll be right back so we could use our cleansing device. Also, I want to note for this video just because there's like a bunch of little like grainy capsule like things in it, I don't recommend it as like an exfoliating product. It's, it's not really like that. It just, oh, it also has this beautiful like shimmer in it. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't even know if you can see that. It's on my bristle, but it has this gorgeous like pink, like almost pearl like shimmer to it. It's amazing. So I'm gonna turn this on. What I love about this is it's it's a spin system. It doesn't like vibrate, it spins, and I think it effectively cleans your skin really nice. I have this device wet with the product on. I didn't use a ton of product. I barely even used a dime, I, maybe like a pea size amount because I'm doing half my face. But this is what a pea size amount will get you. You guys, this does foam a lot. Like the more you use, actually we should just go all in because we're not getting the full effect. I'm just gonna put a little more on to show you guys just how much this foams. See how it starts working. I bring it down, isn't this gorgeous? I love this foam cleanser. This might be one of my fav favorite foam cleansers of all time. I just like the way it makes my skin feel after. Oh, I should have put a headband on, shoot. I do this all the time, don't I? So here it is. You guys see you could get a beautiful, beautiful lather. I would not say this product strips my skin of moisture. I don't, I wouldn't say it overly gives me moisture. So if you are an oily skin person, you're gonna like this cleanser a lot. If you are a dry skin person, I just wanna use it on the other side too. No, we're gonna, no. If you are a dry skin person, I think you would benefit from this a lot. If you're a sensitive skin person, I think you would like this. However, the fragrance might be a little too overpowering for you. Just FYI. So I don't want to overwork my skin too much on this cleanse cycle, but I definitely think this, here it is. You see that? It's all like within my bristles. I love it. Here it is on my skin. You get some like texture. What I wanna say is I think this cleanser can benefit from all skin types. I think, oh my gosh, look at me. I look, I look like uh, Mrs. Doubtfire when she puts her face in the cake and then she like picks up her head. Like that's how I feel. Okay, so my face is all clean and here is the final result. I still have a beautiful glow. It, 
clearly didn't totally dry my skin out. My skin does feel moisturized, not overly moisturized, and it feels plump, and it obviously feels clean, and I have this amazing glow that I attribute to this cleanser and a very good moisturizing routine. Now, obviously, I mean, I feel like it speaks for itself. It cleanses. I don't think this is extreme either way. I just don't. I think it's a really, really beautiful cleanser. Do I think it's worth the $90? Yes, I do. And I'm going to tell you why. Because one, I've tried Clay de Pose. Two, I've tried La Mer's. And three, I've tried this. And Sisley cleansers, I have tried. I'm not crazy about them. But I think this is right up there in its ability to clean. And the way it just makes my skin texture, it really smooths everything out and really calms things down. And I think that's the main thing I took away from this cleanser was its ability to calm my skin. I mean, if you can look at it, there's very little irritation going on. I do have a minor little situation here, but I mean, like it definitely does a very nice job at not overworking your skin. And like I said, the texture that it leaves behind is very luxurious. I do think this did make a difference in my skin after using this. I noticed um, there was like a lot of breakouts going on on my jawline at the time. And when I started using this, it cleared it all up. Um, I started really using this cleanser at the change of seasons when my skin was kind of going haywire. I stopped using the La Mer to just give it a break and try something totally new. And let me tell you something, it definitely did a great job at reviving my skin. It did clear up my closed comedones as well as jawline acne that I am prone to, um, especially during changes of season. There's not one skin type I would recommend this for the most. I I think it's a really great all around foam cleanser and I wholeheartedly recommend it. You guys, that is all I have to say about this little pink pearlescent beauty. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. I'm always talking about really luxurious skincare, letting you guys know if they're effective and if they're worth the purchase, which most of the time I think they are because I'm a full believer that luxury skincare works and is very, very effective and I'm not afraid to say it. Everybody, if also if you haven't done so already, follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting updated skincare routines as well as what's going on in my personal life, but I think the main thing is I would love for you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join me. I try to upload a video, videos two to four times a week. So you guys, I'm always keeping it popping on this channel with new fresh content. Love you guys. Stay luck, stay fabulous, stay cleansed. Bye.